Hello everyone, Nightfury G here. In today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about the bug that was happening with Hard Truck Apocalypse. Specifically, this bug that is shown on screen right now. Without further delay, let's just hop straight into how to fix it. You're going to open the link that's in the description. It's going to take you to this page, the Community Remaster. Choose either English or, English or Russian, it doesn't really matter, and just scroll down. Click download. Once you click download, it should take you to this page, the pre-release. The reason why I'm not posting the updated link is because I want to I want to give you a chance to download the latest version in case there's another version that's out. So download both of these files, the community mod and the community remaster. And once you're done, please open them up. Once you open up Community Remaster, you will see this program over here. You will be able to choose the Hard Truck Apocalypse game from Steam. However, it will pop up with this error. The reason why is because the language isn't set to Russian. How do we fix that? Settings, Properties, Language, Russian. For some reason, the game is actually on version 1.03, which isn't supported, but the game version should be 1.02, which is the Russian version, and that's why we are changing the language to Russian. So once this installs, we can actually just select it again, and it should work. Alright, now that it has installed, you can see that once I click it, there's no more error. You click add to list and it says clean 1.02. Next up, we're going to choose a path for our mods. We're going to choose where we want them and we're going to go select confirm choice. All right, now that you've confirmed where it should be, now you can click on this tab over here. It should take you to the mods library. We're going to click add mod. Now the second file you installed, the community remaster, you're going to select that because that's our zip mod file. We're going to click extract and once it's extract we're gonna click install. For the sake of this video we are going to install the community patch. The community remaster uh, includes the updated HD resolution UI, the new community remastered music, and the HD models of all guns and vehicles, alongside everything that Community Patch does, which is the actual fixes of the game. So, we're gonna click Community Patch, we're gonna select our language, and click Install. Just yes. And just click yes again. You're gonna see the verification that everything got installed, and now, when you click Play, it should open up without any errors. For the second part of this video, which is, if you're an English player, or if you're a user that wants to have the English voice lines and English text, you're going to open up from the community, community mod, uh, from the community mod program, you're going to click open in explorer. It should take you to this, and you should just rename the original file from Hard Truck Apocalypse, to Hard Truck Apocalypse 2. After which, you're gonna change the language back to English. And once you once you're done with that, you should click on Installed Files and click Verify File Integrity. After which, everything should install once more. All right. Now that the game is installed, we can once again just open it. So we are going to browse local files, and now. In this folder, we are going to look for sounds, and we are going to look for maps. But first of all, let's just quickly copy over the sound effects. Once you're in the sound folder, you're going to search for XML, and you're going to delete all of this instantly from the uh, from the English one, not from the modded one. The reason why is because the modded one actually messes around with these XML files. So, just don't, in, don't uninstall them, it's completely fine. 
open up the second hard truck apocalypse folder, the one with the mods installed, go to sounds, and copy over radio and speech. That should be completely fine for you to just drag and drop over and replace every single file inside. Once you're done with that, you should actually open up maps from both folders. Because inside of every single folder, actually, you can just open it up from the modded one, right? Because inside of this one, there's this strings.xml and strings.underscore English underscore voiceover. We are going to completely ignore this one. We're going to com just rename it to strings.2 or strings2, whatever, doesn't matter. And we're going to rename this one to strings.xml, the English voiceover one. And that will give us every single voiceover that's original. You're going to do that for every single map. So from R1M1 to R4M2, you're going to come down here, you're going to rename strings.xml to strings2.xml for something like that, and you're going to rename the strings underscore English underscore voiceover to strings.xml. That will completely change the voice lines. And that should be fine. Alright, seems as if I'm not missing anything. So, once you're done with that, we can actually go back to common. And we can actually just completely delete the English version of the game that we installed from Hard Truck Apocalypse. And rename back the original modded folder as Hard Truck Apocalypse. And that should be fine. But for the sake of the video, so that something doesn't change, something doesn't edit, we are going to just quickly turn off full screen. It will look a bit wonky on the video, but I really couldn't be bothered editing it, so let's just click play. It will open up in the window, and should actually allow us to do everything. So if I type the name Fury, create the profile, it should load perfectly, it should allow us to change all the effects, and I'm really sorry for your ears. Right. Really sorry. I had to change back, like, all of the sounds, because otherwise, your ears would have been blown off. So, to test if it's working, we're just gonna set all of this to high, we're gonna open up a new game, and if it works, we shall see. History hasn't kept any certain facts about the Dark Ages that followed the cat. Rise and shine. Yeah, okay. Everything works. Great. And as you can see, my model kind of differs from the one inside of the video that I recorded. And that is because this isn't the HD remake. This is the original one. I kind of prefer how this model looks, but I really wanted to play with the HD models at least once. So... That's fine, everything should work, and if it doesn't, well, try the community remake. And that should be all. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Night Fury G, out.